understand guys do stuff like that. Like he parts close enough. Just close enough to another truck couldn't fit in between us. And I was here at one o'clock this afternoon. I parked next to a trailer that was already dropped here. How much longer does it take to pull up and make sure you're in the right spot so you're not wasting a bunch of extra space? I guess some people are perfectly happy letting everyone know that they're self-centered, lazy shitbags. It's not like this lot is tight. It's not like it's full either, but still, you know, it could have been. It could have gotten full at some point, and then that would have been an extra space that a truck could park in. Just hit me in the head. Uh, I was trying to take up as little space as humanly possible.
Morning. Yes, I do. I was trying to figure out what to do here, but... Okay. Um, see where the bay door is open? Yeah. One beside it, he's loading right now. When okay. he pulls out, can you back up to that door? Yeah, do I need to weigh in or anything? Or? No. Okay. No. That's why I was confused about it. I didn't know if I needed to go over the scale or any of that. No. So, uh, you want me to just pull up somewhere out of the way here? Or? Yeah, just wait for him to pull out and then just back up. Okay. to figure out a phone number to call or what they have these signs saying you have to disinfect your truck before you go in but i guess they're not going to enforce that but uh yeah they already got me on a short load picking up down the road here and going over to cherokee i really don't understand shippers and receivers aversion to signage like, obviously, I'm not every driver that's come in here knows the process. Like, how much does it cost to have a vinyl sign put up to kind of explain what you need to do? You know what I mean? Like, let's see, where's this going? This one might actually qualify for the short load pay. They have a, under a certain amount of miles, you get extra pay for doing the load. Never been to the Marigold in Cherokee. Four dogs can't be very far from here. No problem. Maybe when it's my truck, I'll ask a little bit more, but you know, I, I feel awkward asking to do stuff like that when it's, you know, it's not my company. I don't represent me here. When it's my truck, you know, I'll say, hey, I you know, have a YouTube channel. Mind if I record? And most of the time they'll probably say no to letting me record. Let's see where I can find a washout because there's salt all over the floor of my trailer. So, yeah, let's see if, uh, 
If you got, if any of you been around long enough, you'll remember sometime last winter, I picked up at an egg place up here, like an hour north or half hour north, and they had me go watch the exterior of my trailer because of you know bird flu or whatever. Uh, that's the same washout I'm going to truck wash. Ellsworth, Iowa. Said a couple things. One, if uh, when I get as soon as I get to Fort Dodge, I you know I can go. I can go ahead and go to Fort Dodge as soon as possible and check in. Rough road. They'll let me check in, and I can wait to get loaded. And if I get to Cherokee and they have an empty, it's kind of a timing thing. If I have an empty when they get there, they can uh, let me do a drop and hook. So that'd be good. Now I I, get, I uh, interrupted myself. So first of all, the guy they had helping, I mean, he's a trucker, and he's one of them guys that you hate to work with. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. He just he doesn't have a lot going on upstairs. And like he's just kind of fumbling around with everything so I, I kind of jumped in and started doing stuff because I'm not the kind of guy that can stand around and watch stuff not get done and people struggle with stuff I just I'll just rather jump in and do it myself and they had a I forget what they're called but it's like a clamp put a chain on pulls hooks to the bottom of the pallet pull it off he's having a hard time doing that so I was throwing chains around and stuff is this the right turn? No, it's not. That would have sucked. I don't know what road that is, but it ain't the right one. Anyway, uh, they had this electric pallet jet, and as I started getting up there to do stuff, the, the forklift driver kind of, he saw that I was going to be more useful than that other dude. And he's like, do you mind running a pallet jet? I was like, no, no, no. And uh, he sent that guy out of there. Now, that pallet jet, it's broken and they had a you know a, their own little fix on it but it was looser and shit so it was uh so the handle so loose on it that if you moved it just right the safety switch would kick off and it wouldn't run so finally i asked like do you got any tools and uh he found some wrenches and some crescent wrenches and I, I tightened it up for him and it was working perfectly and that's about the time that the guy, other guy showed up to work and he wanted to finish the job. I was like, I see how you are. And I, I fixed your equipment and now you want to use it. But I, uh, that's one of those things I should probably talk to Jason and tell him that I unloaded some of that stuff and get paid a little bit extra for it. But it wasn't required and I offered to help just because I was bored and didn't want to be standing there doing nothing and I wanted to get it done so it's not like they required me to unload it I don't know I shouldn't work for free though Is it like a manual one or? Yeah, it's just manual. Like for your car washes. Well, that's good to know. You see a key cat? Don't take my arm off chasing the key cat. Where you go, key Katie? Is 
that you? No. Diesel, what are you doing? Boy. Trying to rip my arm out of the socket. I don't know what that means. and they're just walking around making noise and yeah there he is yeah, he's right there he's gonna go and talk to me right now How much? 40. Okay. What's that? Nobody. Yeah, I was looking at it. It's good. good. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> stops, he just looks at me. And I look at him back, waiting for communication of some sort. And he goes, huh? Eh. Okay. You've never done this before? Like, how much do I owe you? <laughs> something. Tell me something. People are fucking weird. Like, I know he told me how much it cost earlier, but that was like an hour and a half ago. I couldn't remember if it was 40 or 45. Plus, it's just how you do things. Weird. See, I'm uh, dropping my seat really down low. Sitting way back in my truck. Trying to get prepared to drive a long nose truck, but I can't can't obstruct my view enough. Like as far back as it'll go, I can still I don't sit down here. I'm getting ready to be a long long nose driver. Just get used to not being able to see shit. Gotta 
start somewhere. Jesus. Did you guys' necks just hurt all the time? How that works? I gotta lay down basically. Still see too much. I don't have a hood sticking up. Hey, there we go. There we go. Now we're long hood driving. Still see too much. Just can't do it in a plastic truck. Just can't get low enough. What are we gonna do? Hey, you just gonna pull on out there, ain't you, buddy? Good one. anyway but she's saying uh she'll give me a call closer to my appointment tell me where to go oh. if i sit for a two hour break then my 14 starts over so i don't have to worry so much about boy my lips are chapped aren't they Let me get the boogers. Let me get them. Come here. Let me get the boogers. Stop it. Stop. Oh, I get the boogers. Oh, yeah, boogers, but I gotta get the boogers. What do you think the inside of this trailer looks like? and he just kept walking too. Son of a bitch. I always make 
damn sure I'm not blocking stuff when I pull into places. Like there are other places to be other than right in front of the damn dock door, but you know that would require you to walk more than five feet to get checked in. God forbid you get an extra few steps in today. So you don't block somebody else up. And I understand that it's not like a huge inconvenience. He'll move when I when he gets back out, but it's like I don't know. I just try to live my life in a way that doesn't affect everybody else. You know? Seems pretty simple. Diesel down. 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 effort to walk but it's too much effort to put my seatbelt on so you don't have to hear that beeping so just so I'm not ragging on everyone else and that dude walking the dock doors
Their hours of operation are 2 30 p.m. Something just dawned on me as I was walking up and realizing this is a drop and hook, not a live unload. I knew that, but I had forgotten. And I only had to have to take a fuel. I have a little more than a half to take a fuel. I wasn't thinking figure out if there's somewhere I can get fuel close. He's got to talk to somebody to see if they'll let me drop it here or not with half tank. I just wasn't thinking. I think it's, at least I called and told them and didn't just leave it half empty, you know. They might not see it that way, but I'll say, like, well, at least I didn't just leave it. I could have just left it and not said anything. But I realized what I did. It was just a slip of the mind. There's nowhere close to get fuel. The closest place is 17 miles away. I have 30 minutes left on my drive time. And 30 minutes left on my total clock. I don't have enough time to go get fuel and come back. So I told, uh, you know, my solution is I'll just stay under it and park here for the night. And if they want to live unload me in the morning, they can, and I can go get fuel before I go get my next load. Or in the morning, I can go get fuel and come back. Where are you going, officer? What are you up to? You on the prowl? It's a nice Tahoe you got for a little town, Ooh, like Cherokee. Uh, he's funny. I, you know, I'm giving my 
myself a harder time about it than they are. They're like, yeah, just stay on it till tomorrow. Uh, get it live and loaded. I'm like, that's fine. And they don't have pre-plan on me right now anyway. So I'll just park here out of the way and get it unloaded in the morning and be good to go. Yeah, he's kind of joking. He's like, oh, darn, you, you made a mistake that didn't cost us anything. You're fired. It's like, yeah, I know, but I got to give myself a hard time or I might do it again. It's like, well, you go ahead and beat yourself up because I'm done. <laughs> it's like, all right, buddy. Talk to you tomorrow. I got to take this boy for a walk before he completely rebels. Are you going to rebel? He's going to rebel. Oh, he's rebelling. You see the rebellion. You see the rebellion in his face.